In this screencast, we will show an interesting trick move that Kim learned when he was studying Go in China. Unlike the flexible move we showed you last week, there are some minor drawbacks to the trick play we will show you in this episode. However, when used at the right moment and under the right circumstances, this move can be powerful and a refreshing addition to your Josuke knowledge. The opening position you see here is the start of a game between Joe Ruyang, 3 down professional, and Niu Yutian, 6 down professional, played in 2006. The marked stone is a tsuji around which the trick play of this episode revolves. The trick can be used in Mayo games when the opponent has two high stones, one positioned on a Hoshi star point at A and the other on a center star point nearby, B. A perfect example is the Sun Rensai Fuseki, which you see here. Let's get started. Playing against large influence frameworks, such as the Sun Rensei opening, requires caution and combination with reduction. A normal way of reducing Black's influence by preventing Black from extending from his moyo is to approach one of the Hoshi stones, like you see here. A Black pincer is usual in this situation, aiming to pressure White's lonely stone and at the same time continuing the tactics of large skill influence. To such a pincer, White's most popular tactic is going into the corner and making life fast at A. Running out with B is also possible if you want to prevent Black from getting too big of a moyo. Let's first see the most common variation, where White invades at A. Black has to block at A to expand his moyo. Playing in B would be a mistake in direction. When Black blocks at A, all his stones are working together. There are some variations in this Josuke, but we will quickly show the most basic one. White took the territory in the corner and is safe. Black continues his plan of influence on the outside and towards the center. Since White has Sente, he can approach the other corner. The same kind of Josuke can follow here. Such Fuseki shows two completely different tactics for black and white. Influence versus solid territory. These playing styles often clashed in the professional matches between the two Japanese masters Takemiya Masaki, 9 down professional, and Cho Chikun, 9 down professional. Let's go back to this opening position. Instead of jumping into the corner at A or running at B, white can also try the tricky double approach. Now, the usual Josuke response for black is to play A. This will lead us to the trick play. This is Josuke. In this kind of shape, there are two possible Josuke answers, A and B. A is correct now and aims for Moyo. B is slack, since it's purely territorial and does not cooperate with the other Moyo stones. In a Moyo game, where the marked stones are already in position, black should play this hane. It is the proper move. Here, white's normal response, which leads to a standard joseki, is A. When white plays the tsuji at B, he sets up the trick play. But before the fun starts, and to understand the trick play better, let's see the normal variation first. This is the normal joseki, which is basically a one-way street. It might look chaotic and complicated at first, but try to study it, and you will see that there are few alternatives to every move. In this shape, many players have the urge to play Hane at A, following the proverb, play Hane at the head of three stones. However, Black's shape is full of weaknesses, and this jump is more solid and fixes his cutting points. White now has to return to the corner to capture the black 3-3 stone and secure his territory. Black can now block here in Zente with nice shape. 
Now that white is solid in the corner, black has one weakness left at A, which he needs to fix. Before he does so, black can choose to play this sequence, or keep it for threats later. Black fixes up his shape. The Joseki ends here. This again is a typical example of a division between territory and influence. Solid points versus raw strength. White got a big and secure corner territory, while Black followed his original opening strategy and created huge influence in the center. Now that we have seen the normal variation with A, let's see the trick play. Most players will never have seen this move, which makes it a powerful surprise and therefore useful to memorize. Not only is this move tricky and treacherous, but at this point there are also no real drawbacks for white. Black has no clear way of punishing this move. This answer looks natural, but that is exactly what you want to achieve with a good trick play. Black is already tricked and will suffer the consequences. White goes back to the Josuki variation that we showed earlier, leaving black no choice but to follow, a one-way street. Now this jump, which is still the shape move, doesn't work as well as in the previous variation. Good for white! In the standard Josuki, black has only one major weakness at 1, which he fixes by coming back to A. Here however, black has the additional weakness of 2. Black has two problems at the same time, and is forced to watch how one of them will be exploited by the opponent. The natural move, blocking at A, fills for black. The proper and more solid way of playing is to come back in the corner. This is the most solid and easygoing response. This result is by no means bad for white. Black secured a big corner profit with A, but his B stone is severely hurt. On top of that, Black's original plan of creating a moyo has been destroyed. Instead of this move, this is another possibility, which results in a big fight. We took this move from a professional game between Zhou Ruyang 3 down professional and New Yutian 6 down professional from 2006. Now that we have shown you the trick play without any drawbacks, it's important to address a final note. When white makes the double approach, especially against the Sanrensei Fuseki, there can be a minor drawback. Namely the possibility of black playing a severe counterattack at the 3-3 point in the corner. This is a very powerful move. Instead of playing at A, black can choose to play on the 3-3 point when he has two stones on the outside to help him with the fight. Now it's difficult for white to find a good response. There is no clear path for white to follow. Surrounding the two black stones in the corner is usually the correct shape move. However, when black has reinforcements nearby on either side, he can cut through white's thin position. White is cut into pieces. Black has stones nearby and therefore the advantage in this fight. Instead of trying to surround Black's corner immediately, White can try to set up a leaning attack. This is the proper leaning attack. However, this also leads to a result which favors Black. Black uses his momentum to keep White separated, making Mi'ai of taking the right side or the top. This Atari is a sacrificing technique. Black sacrifices his stone in order to gain strength. Sente. This final result is also slightly better for black. It feels too easy. So try this to Suji at home. We are curious about your results. Good luck and see you next time.